Wanted to throw together a uh, quick uh, Axe's Back project update video. If you thought it was going away, think again. Uh, far from it, actually. So those of you that haven't taken the leap to get involved, I encourage you to do so. It's not going to stop. So I uh, want to show you guys some new axes that have been put together uh, by me uh, that you have not seen. Those of you on the forums, uh, or excuse me, Bushcraft USA forum will have seen these. Some of you guys out there that haven't made the leap and joined yet, regardless of where you live, have not probably seen these. So um, I'll go in the order that I received them and that I've put handles on them. So this one, I actually just got the sheaths in for this. Uh, normally I do most of my own leather work, obviously you guys have seen it. Uh, but cost-wise, to do these size sheaths, compared to what it cost me in the leather, to the pinch of time that I have, it was just cheaper for me to buy these outright and uh, I got them from the Hickory Handle store on eBay and they also have a site by the same name uh, really good quality the guy was super awesome to deal with uh, highly recommended so this one here is my true temper and this is a cruiser he's nice good tight sheath so it's gonna wear well I hope got a handle for this from uh, House of Handles and uh, really good grain and you know I imagine the camera's not going to pick it up too well but uh, what I call perfect grain uh, these uh, don't have edges on them yet uh, profiles are really good I won't buy an axe that it can't be uh, made of use but um, you know filing and, and doing edges is a, a whole nother project after finding handles and putting those on so they'll come down the road as you know my collection grows I really do want to get an edge on this one soon because I want to get out and use it. I think for bushcraft, getting out, packing an axe, a double bit of this size, a cruiser, or sometimes called a cedar, uh, is like a perfect size. Uh, it's light, it's only two and a half pounds. It almost feels less, but of course, true temper stamps and it's uh, two and a half pounds. Uh, I was pretty pretty pleased with the, uh, the hafting of it. Um, I do it the Swedish way, so to speak. and. Uh, leave the top over a little bit so it's uh, I'm sure I'm not gonna get this on camera mushrooms over the eye somewhat gives a nice uh, secure fit uh, I'm gonna I avoid using pins I'm going to avoid using pins uh, if the settings correct you you shouldn't need them so uh, that's one true temper cruiser and when I'm done with this I'll show you uh, everything all together of course so Sheets are tough, I like them. Um, this one I got in a trade on bushcraftusa.com. Another uh, shorter style, larger head than a cruiser, slightly longer handle. This is what you just call like a 30 inch double bit. It's a Collins head, a very nice one. Uh, guy named Up the Creek. That's his uh, online name. You can find him on YouTube as well. We did a trade for a knife I had. Uh, real good guy. I talk a lot on the forum. I was really pleased with this. He, uh, it was hafted by him, not me. So I got it this way. He even did a filing, a filed edge for me and then touched up very sharp. I can't wait to get this out. And uh, just so you guys know, you'll see always pictures of these at the end of my videos like always. So uh, gorgeous axe. And I sheath I got for this one as well. Another small hatchet I got in a, in a, in a trade as well in Bushcraft USA. Uh, I wanted a Norland, and I haven't had one, but uh, I don't I don't prefer this this head style in a full size axe. It's just not my taste. But uh, he had a hatchet, which I think is. Uh, friggin gorgeous so I had to have it uh, he made the handle himself and uh, did his own half on it which is really cool uh, it's in really great shape I might do a little work on the edge yet uh, and uh, maybe a little bit more shaping of the handle uh, it seems like a great fit so I'm gonna you know keep it that way and uh, it's something I could really see my son using when he's old enough very light head so uh, pretty cool I'm very happy with this as well And move on to the next one. It's another head I got a hold of, and most of the ones I buy myself I get off eBay. 
I'm really smart about how I buy, watch them real close, and uh, I try to never pay overprice for heads. And with the popularity of axes as of late, um, some of the prices can get a little too high for what they are and a little unreasonable. And I think some dealers on there are starting to get wind of that and upping the uh, the reserve prices as well. But uh, I got a real good deal on this uh, True Temper as well. This is a larger axe, uh, 3.2 pounds. Uh, a beautiful swing this axe has, a great balance. The edges are, uh, well excuse me, the bits are in still really good shape. It hasn't had much use, so I'm, uh, I'm happy about that. I can't define though which edge was a root edge and obviously which one was for chopping. It would have been the opposite in the way I would have done it, but that's fine. And that was a chopper going overhead, okay. But uh, handle's a little thick. When I got it a hardware store, I was lucky to run across it. I'm not partial to such a dramatic change in sapwood hardwood. Um, so uh, I just don't like the look of it myself. Uh, it is what it is. I have to make do with what I got, so I used it. It wasn't until later I found another place that sold much nicer handles and I had already hafted this. So it is what it is. We'll use it if it don't work out or the head starts slipping for any for any reason they'll give me an excuse to uh, put a new one on but it had pretty decent grain and I say decent not great not good and uh, I'm pretty happy with it so uh, I love the patina that was on this head so I'm not going to change that just a good linseed oil finish that's dried very well and when I get time I'll you know put an edge on this one as well and I'm still waiting for the sheath to come in for this one. The guy only, uh, Hickory Handle Store only had two at the time, one for my uh, Cedar Axe or Cruiser, and one for that other Collins. So I'm waiting for another one to come in for this, and then they'll be, they'll all have pants. And I got one more that I've actually always wanted for a long, long time. And I got a chance to bid on one on eBay, and I was really lucky I got it, uh, for the price I got it, I should say. And the quality's pretty good, and that's a, Pulaski axe and some people know about them and some people just really have no idea it's considered a uh, well it was used by rangers for uh, controlling forest fires and some landscape work trail work and things like that obviously it's got an axe head on it so it's not you know obviously it's a 3.3 pound and it's got an ads on it as well and it's not made for woodworking, so to speak. So this is to uh, break roots and uh, you know move small stones and things like. It's not made to chop stones, but inevitable, you know, things like that happen. So it's a very thick, robust chisel edge. Uh, it's in real good shape. It had a little bit of surface rust that, quite honestly, I left and just uh, just to, did a little scrub down with some steel wool, not much, just to smooth it out and put a linseed oil finish on it. The handle. Uh, I was really pleased that I found it, Some somebody by Razorback, but I couldn't believe the quality of the grain and everything, so, and the shape was actually not too thick like the other one from the hardware store, but I still gotta, I still gotta get all the lacquer off, I, you know, I can't stand that, so I got a lot of work to do, you can see the, the change up right here, probably, so, uh, and what I'll have to do, too, is because the head sets straight, but the, but it's, the swoop comes up in the back, I gotta adjust where the shoulder is here, and up at the front, so when I'm done with that, the shoulders will meet right up to the right up to the bottom eye but yeah pretty cool I'd love to get some use out of this this is one of those that maybe I won't ever get any use out of but if I own a home or something that it might get some homesteading use in the future but either way it's a great part of the collection and I'm glad to uh, I'm glad to have it and even though it's a uh, you would think this wouldn't be very balanced it's it's much more balanced than it looks uh, when you chop and one more that you've seen that I don't have a handle for yet because it's becoming somewhat of a nightmare to find one is that True Temper Wood Slasher or Kelly Works uh, jersey head that I have and I, it's the one I'm most excited to get a handle for turning out to be the hardest. If you notice it's not surface rust all over it. I did some work on it. Now I wanted to, at first I started with, I'll leave the patina, just get the rust off and just do the forward half of the bit, uh, you know, all polished. And then I was doing them like, no, now I just want to keep going. But the thing with it is, is if I go too far and want to go to a full polish, I'd have to get so far down into a couple of these pits that I would literally get down to a point where I don't even have the maker stamp on anymore. So I left it in this used satiny finish like this. 
I, which I think is fine. I, I don't care. I'm going to allow it to patina naturally and uh, let it be as it is. I did uh, fix the mushrooming of the pole that had occurred and brought it down just a little bit to take out some of the what were the Grand Canyon in the pole. So, you know, obviously people use axes for the wrong thing sometimes and pound stakes and, you know, other steel with it. So I got some of that off as well. So it looks a bit more serviceable. And uh, hopefully if I get a handle for it soon enough, uh, maybe I'll do a rehafting video for it. So I'm really excited to get one for this. Um, that is the uh, updated collection. I'll put them out on the edge of the deck and uh, we'll run the camera by them for you. Fortunately, this isn't wide angle, which sucks. So uh, I have to get back quarter ways, but there's the Pulaski, the True Temper, the Collins, another True Temper. There's my uh, GB uh, American Felling Axe, GB Scandinavian Forest Axe. There's the Nordland, and one that I didn't show you on the other first part of the video is a small axe sent to me by uh, our contest winner of that wood lore in uh, Norway. And uh, it's a little uh, replica of a pocket axe found in a, uh, a Norse uh, grave. So I thought that was pretty neat of him to send for winning that. He didn't have to send me anything, but he did. So here's where we're at at the moment. I do have uh, another head to finish, and uh, I'm still buying, so the collection is ever growing. Back up enough for you. There we go. We're getting there.